Jeremy Beasley for the third consecutive Saturday gets the baseball on the mound. He's lost back-to-back one-run decisions despite pitching very well against Wayne County and very well against Metter last week. 2-1 to one to Wayne County, 3-2 to two to the Metter Tigers. He's ready with the first pitch of the ball game, and it's an off-speed pitch for a strike facing Alex Slusher, who is a left fielder for Atkinson County. The Rebels who come in 5-2 and two overall and 1-1 one one in the region. Second pitch from Jeremy, another breaking ball strike. No balls, two strikes. Jeremy this season has a 3.23 earned run average. Teams are hitting 286 against him. And the 0-2 pitch, a fastball, is hit up in the air right side and out of play. He's worked 13 innings, allowed 14 hits, six earned runs. He's got a fantastic strikeout to walk ratio of better than 5 to 1, 16 Ks, three walks. Right-hander ready with a 1-2 pitch. Upstairs, Ben Brantley is catching him. James Etheridge at third, Bailey Salter at short, Hunter Braddy at second. Brandon Beckham is the first baseman. Now Beasley winding, and he delivers his 1-2 pitch. Again, hit up in the air out of play toward the pit. Out of the outfield, Christian Moore in left, Chris Mobley in center. Blake Horton is the right fielder. Alex Slusher will be followed by Austin White, the shortstop, and Marcus Tucker, the first baseman. Most of these guys in the lineup played for this team last year. There's a breaking ball called strike three. So Jeremy starts off with his 17th strikeout, his 103rd of his Bulldog career. Two balls, two strikes. One down, base is clean. Here's the pitch. Ground ball over to Bailey Salter. Scoops it up, fires it from the inside, cut of the grass over to Beckham at first for the out. Three balls, two strikes for the first time for the senior who's going to Darton to play baseball. Made a great play behind third base the other day. Here's a pitch. Jams it with a fastball. It's hit to the third baseman, Etheridge. Guns it over to first for a three up and three down for the Toombs County Bulldogs. So a good start for the defense and the pitching of Beasley. We're headed to the bottom of the first inning. You're listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. One, two pitch. The breaking ball called strike three. Jeremy has real good stuff again. He's been a great Saturday pitcher despite his 0-2 record. I was going to go to it. It was last Thursday, but of course it got rained out. Ground ball to Etheridge at third. Scoops it up from the inside cut. Now slings it over to first to Beckham for the out. Five up, five down. Three ground balls. Ahead of the count, one and two, as he rises up the left leg and throws a breaking ball, and no chance for Meeks to swing at that one. Break it inside, not even close on the swing, strike three. And Beasley now with three Ks of the game and a six up and six down through two frames for the Bulldogs senior. Game scoreless going to the bottom of the second as we take a break. You're listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. And just watching this guy warm up just a little, in the pen and then before the game on the mound, I was kind of curious would he be able to throw strikes consistently. He's hit a batter, walked a batter, also threw a wild pitch in the first inning. Hogan swings and rolls it over to the shortstop, but it's by his glove and into left field. So Hogan with a base hit, that's the first one of the game. He's now 6 for 13. Brings up Christian Moore, nice backside swing there. In 2013 is the varsity Bulldog. Ben was a sophomore, 15 for 42, batted 357, two doubles, and drove in 11 runs. In 2012, he got 18 at bats, had three base hits, a double, and a triple. Had a big game at Swainsboro. Three RBIs. Sitting on 14 RBIs in his Bulldog career, and he takes a strike. No balls, two strikes. He probably thought maybe that pitch was low. Why well, swing at it? Dogs on first and second. White off second. Christian Moore behind the first baseman, Tucker. 0-2 pitch. Swings and lifts it into left field. It drops in for a base hit. Hogan White races to third, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. The Bulldogs with a single, a walk, and a single. O'Brien comes set. Looks at third. Here's a pitch. Swing it a ground ball to short. This will score a run. Flip to second. Out. Glaze throws it over to first base. And a double play. 
So no RBI for Blake Horton, but the Bulldogs lead 1-0. The 6-4-3 will leave Christian Moore at third. Now you load up the bases, you think, in big inning. And then that 6-4-3 double play, now you're thinking about, let's just get another run, at least. Righty-righty matchup. Here's a stretch by O'Brien. Pitch to Brady. Swings and hits it hard into left field. This drops in for extra bases and scores a run. Brady racing to second base. Here comes the throw. Just caught by the cutoff man. And Hunter is standing with a dog double and an RBI. And the Bulldogs lead 2-0. And once again, Hunter pulling a pitch, hitting it hard. He had a big triple to left field near the Barry Aldridge foul pole on Tuesday in the win over Bryan County. Big hit in the seventh inning. Hunter with his fifth base hit, second double of the season. And he's driven in his fourth run. One-two pitch. Hit hard over the glove of Salter. A base hit bouncing to the center fielder, Chris Mobley. That guy had a couple of real good swings against Jeremy Beasley. Kane Lott. Here's a pitch. Fastball hit back to Beasley. Where is he going? To second out there. Salter guns it to first for a Bulldog double play. 1-6-3. Both teams have turned a double play early in this game. He even wins at SMU. Last time they were winners, I guess John Conkak was playing there, the former Atlanta Hawk. First pitch is rolled over toward Beasley. Picks it up with a glove, throws it over to first, and that is out number three. Slusher hitting a swinging bunt to Be Beasley right side of the mound. Big guy handles it easily. So, a base runner on a single and a hit batsman, but a Bulldog double play, and we play two and a half. It's the Dogs two in Atkinson County. Nothing as we break on Y101. Bulldogs send the runner first. Bailey Salter going that way. They're going to throw and get him in a rundown, and in comes a runner from third. Here's a throw, and he's safe. Blake Padgett scoring. That was a close play. Good throw by Glaze from second base. And Keegan Meeks putting on the tag, and boy, it was close. But Padgett gets in with the Bulldogs' third run of the ball game. And Salter winds up at second, so Atco does not even get an out. Still one down. Chance to break open this game. The last time the Bulldogs had the bases loaded, if you weren't listening, 6-4-3 double play. They want to stay away from one of those. One down. Here's a pitch. Ben swings and hits it. Into the glove of the third baseman. Steps on the bag. Gets an out. Throws it across the diamond for a double play. Unbelievable. Fine play by DeAndre Glaze. Caught it, stepped on the bag, and of course Brantley can't run fast because of the ankle, and he's out at first base on the throw. So the Bulldogs only score one. We've had three double plays turned in this ball game. Three nothing Bulldogs after three as we break on Y101. At least so far. Swing and a missed strike three. He's running down to first. I don't think the ball got away. Bulldogs try to throw it over to third base to Etheridge, but the ball got by him. So Jeremy with his fourth strikeout. They're fair. 319 down the left field line. 348 into the power alley and left. Pitch is hit on the ground. Two hops to Etheridge. Scoops it up and throws from the grass over to Beckham. Two down. No balls. Two strikes. Jeremy's a tall pitcher. About 6'3". I've been watching him pitch since he was a midget. 0-2 pitch swing and a missed strike three. Beasley with five Ks in the game. So he hits a batter and one reaches on an error and he takes care of the first and third with a strikeout. Uh, the number six hitter in the lineup, Keegan Meeks. We're going to the bottom half of the fourth inning. And your score, the Toombs County Bulldogs three, Atkinson County nothing. As we take a break, you're listening to Dog Baseball on Y101. Scouting report watching Zane O'Brien throw before the game was, could he throw strikes? He's kind of struggled in that category today. 3-1. Here's the pitch. Swings and hits it into right center field. That is a base hit for Hunter Brady. Running to third base is Horton. Brady wants a double again. He's there standing. His second double of the ball game. He's two for three. His bat is getting hot as his cousin Bryce is watching. And congratulations to Bryce. He had his first bullpup hit the other day. He's just a sixth grader. Headed against Wheeler County. So Brady with three doubles this season, 10 last year. 
He was 6 for 20 coming in. 300 hitter, now 6 for 21. Chance to drive in a pair with a base hit. First pitch swings and chops it left side. Shortstop picks it and fires to first. Etheridge is out on a close play. A run scores and a runner down to third. So James will pick up an RBI his second of the season. Bulldogs just can't get that big inning going. Now two down, runner at third, but they slowly but surely are building up a nice little lead at four zip right now. No balls, two strikes. Left fielder Christian Morris, center fielder Chris Mobley, right fielder Blake Horton for the Dogs. James Etheridge at third, Bailey Salter the shortstop, Hunter Brady at second, Brandon Beckham at first. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Six strikeouts for Beasley. Quinn Pierce, runner going. Here's a pitch. He bunts at third base side. Beasley barehands it, throws it over to first for the out. Runner coming to third is a throw that way, and it's high, and it gets away. And he's going to go to third. Actually, it was Ben Brantley up the third base line who was trying to catch that ball with all that gear and that catcher's glove. Didn't really matter if he caught it or not. He was going to be safe anyway. So aggressive base running. Runner to third, two down. Beasley making a good play. The only day it might rain is Wednesday. Middle school playing Dodge. They scrimmage them on the road. Two balls, two strikes. Check of the runner at third. Here comes a Beasley pitch. Swing and a miss strike three. Got him with something slow. Breaking. Seventh strikeout for Jeremy Beasley. Strands a runner at third base. It keeps Atco scoreless through five innings of baseball. And the dogs are leading 4-0. As we take a break, you're listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. One ball, two strikes, and now perhaps he'll try to end it right here. Jeremy winds. Here's the pitch. And did he? Check swing. He did not go around, and the pitch gets away from Ben Bradley, who cannot find it. Where is the ball? Jeremy Beasley runs over near the fence and gets it. He's going to throw it out of first. Is that a strikeout? I guess not. <laughs> that would be weird. Was it a strikeout? I guess so. So you score that a strikeout, and then Beasley, not Brantley, who's down on his knees right now. That ball must have hit him. Beasley makes the throw to first base, so one to three. That's unusual. Maybe the bad Upton's having a good day. First pitch, strike outside edge, below the belt, above the knee. Strike one. Unfortunately, during spring training games, they don't keep a running box during the game like they do during the regular season. Swing and a miss at a good breaking ball. Beasley's had a good breaking ball today. No balls, two strikes. He's already ready to go, and now the hitter settles into the batter's box on the right side. And Beasley throws strike three on a fastball, outer half. Ninth strike out of the ball game for the senior Bulldog. Seeking double digits now. Taking on one of the Glaze brothers. They're twins batting back-to-back -back in the lineup. They play in the infield at third and second. This is the third baseman, DeAndre Glaze. Two balls, two strikes. He started off the game with a couple of three up and three downs. Seeking one now. There's one. Call strike three on the curveball. And Beasley has 10 Ks. He strikes out the side of the sixth inning to keep Atco scoreless again. He's only allowed one base hit. That was way back in the third to lead it off. 4 nothing Bulldogs going to the bottom of the sixth as we take a break here. Listening to the Dogs. Winning today at home on Y101. Now you would think the take sign for Brandon Johnson. Bulldogs leading 4 nothing. Bottom half of the sixth. Let's see if he gets a take. Yeah, pitch is upstairs. Ball four. Brandon Johnson walks. Be good soccer goalie. Runner going. Here's a pitch inside. It hits Brady. So a dead ball. Runners to first and second. This is a guy. Hunter Brady back at third again. Stranded at third when he hit his second double back in the fourth. Etheridge goes. Meeks will fake the throw. Throw back to third. And it's high. It's off the glove of Glaze. Here comes Brady in to score on the error. Etheridge down to third. So the Bulldogs manufacture an unearned run. Etheridge off third. Here's the pitch. Swinging a ground ball to short. 
fielded by White. Now he throws it to first. Close play. Safe and a run scores. James Etheridge touching home with two down. So I guess that'll be an infield hit. Played cleanly. Beasley runs well. Brings up Bailey Salter. Lead off walk in the fifth, no problem. Three up, three down in the sixth. Here's the pitch. Hit up under the air. Chris Mobley running into the right center field gap. The ball's in for a base hit. So, Glaze with a hit. Second for Atco off the senior. Brings up Keegan Meeks. Very active catcher behind the plate. Will Beasley waste a pitch here? Try to get him on three pitches. Let's see. Here's a pitch. Tries to get him on three pitches, and he swings and hits it in the left field, and it drops in for a base hit. So Beasley did not waste a pitch. Back-to-back -back singles to start off the seventh inning. Runners on first and second on back-to-back -back singles. Nobody out. Here's a pitch. Low, ball four, and suddenly the bases are loaded. But it happened to Jeff Davis, I think, because the base coach at third, I guess the head coach, did not pick up the fact the Bulldogs had caught the ball. Swing and a miss, strike three, although the umpire says the ball was tipped off the bat. So, one down with the bases juiced. And Jeremy ties his career high with his 11th strikeout. Been a long at bat for Jacob Brown. Pitch is a called strike three. He thought it was low. Beasley now has a dozen strikeouts. That's got to be a career high. Alex Slusher. So I mentioned a chance to get 13. Can he get 13 after giving up two singles and a walk and then striking out the side? This guy struck out twice and grounded out to Beasley. First pitch, check swing, and he goes around for strike one. Beasley struck out the side, three up, three down in the sixth. Had two strikeouts in the second. Oh, one pitch, swing, and a miss. So now he's got another 0-2. Last time he had an 0-2, he threw one in the zone, and the guy got a single. What will he do on this 0-2? He winds. We're going to find out. Here it is. It's high. One ball, two strikes. Six nothing Bulldogs. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Bases are loaded. Two down. And Atkinson County down to its final strike. Slusher, right-handed hitter, awaits the pitch from Beasley. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And Jeremy Beasley is going to end his shutout with his 13th strikeout. He strikes out the side after loading up the bases with two singles and a walk and he wins the ball game he's now seven and seven lifetime as a bulldog pitcher and after losing two saturday games by one run he wins one by six we'll take a break and wrap it up on y101